guy right here, Nick, is, uh, is your, your father, who I know very well. Joe, give us a little background about yourself, my friend, and thank you for being here. Thanks very much, Tom, and, and we'd like to thank Team Toyota for their sponsorship and WBCB for allowing us to be on the, uh, the radio today. My perspective in terms of sharing information today is strictly as a parent, the parent of a wounded Marine and the effects that he suffered when he came back from the war as a result of traumatic brain injury. We're blessed that we have a doctor here today and, and Vicki that owns a hyperbaric oxygen therapy chamber. They call it short for HBOT. So when, when Nick came home, in terms of symptoms, people don't realize, you know, what is T TBI and what does this really mean? From a parental standpoint, I looked at Nick and, and it was very lethargic, very withdrawn, incredibly poor memory. In fact, if he was in this fine facility that we're in right now and said, hey, Dad, where's the restroom? Sure. And I said, just take two steps to the right, and it's the third door on the left. He would take the two steps to the right and go, what was I looking for? Yeah, exactly. So as a parent, I was very concerned in terms of, okay, I have a returning hero veteran at the ripe old age of 22 or 23, and I'm thinking, is that it? Is it over? Now look, Nick looks fine, and thank God he has all his limbs, but you know, mentally, because of the damage as a result of the bomb blast, he really wasn't there. Although he was there, he really wasn't there mentally, and it was very, very uh, difficult. So I just, like any parent, I'm not different from any other parent, just tried to help my son in any way I could. Well, you, did, you went above and beyond, Joe. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we are, I was blessed that we, you know, had the internet and was just doing a bunch of different research. And I was, I never even heard, quite frankly, of the term TBI. What the heck is TBI? Sure. Traumatic brain injury. Sure. I did a bunch of research and actually came across a doctor in New Orleans, Dr. Paul Harch, who is actually is a world-renowned specialist in the field, field of hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Well, I just dialed the phone and I picked it up and, and he called him and five or six or seven or eight calls later actually got through to the doctor and told him the story of, of Nick and his fellow Marines and the wounds that they suffered, especially with head injuries and, and TBI and, and the effect that they had. And I was just looking for help. I didn't know where else to turn. We went to the VA and the VA is fine. But they're dealing with 55,000 injuries from the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. It's, it's quite overwhelming. I just asked him for some help. And believe it or not, just simply asking for help, he said, sure. I'll treat him, and I'll treat him for free. I was like, oh my God, this is fantastic. Just get him down here. But we were thrilled. We were overjoyed that we were going to be treated by a world-renowned expert. So we discussed it as a family, and I called the doctor back the next day, and I said, Doc, I'm really grateful for your help and support, but I can't send my son down there by himself no, for a month. Of course not. He can't even find his way around our own house that he grew up in. Exactly. Or remember his aunts and uncles' names. So I said, hey, Doc, there was a couple of other wounded boys, wounded Marines in the vehicle behind him. Do you think you could help those guys out? I don't want to be presumptuous, but do you think you could help those guys out as well? They sure need some. He said, sure. All three boys happen to be named Nick. So the three amigos, we got them down there, the Semper Fi Fund to help support their, their transportation and the lodging. And Dr. Hartz uh, treated them for over a month in these hyperbaric oxygen chambers. And for those of you out in the audience that don't know what an oxygen, hyperbaric oxygen chamber looks like, at least the ones that I've been experienced, now Vicki has much nicer units, but they look like torpedo tubes. <laughs> now, can you imagine immersing yourself in a torpedo tube 
that's like the size of a coffin that's maybe six inches over your nose and being in this facility and they have to close the hatch on it so so picture like a submarine from your world war ii movies and they're closing this hatch and you're in this chamber for over an hour at a clip right doc that's right and that's the way it the is first time i saw him in that thing i was hyperventilating <laughs> i couldn't stand it I, I had to be in the next room and i'm just you know i'm just the dad but i was getting squeamish watching my son in there Anyway, Dr. Harch treated him and the other two Nicks for over a month, and the results were miraculous. That's incredible. I, I just couldn't believe it, Tom, the, 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 the results. I mean, you, literally, I went from a 60-degree turn. I, I went from having a son that was an honor roll student with many scholarship offers that went into the Marine Corps and came out and literally had a difficult time remembering out of this treatment and it was nothing short of miraculous his results and his his conversation his memory things gradually came back Turned around so, so i tried to learn you know more about what the heck is hyperbaric oxygen well, therapy well that's what we're going to do we're going to bring dr Pacchetti in right now who is a board certified integrated physician who spent 22 years in emergency medicine now practicing integrated of medicine, and uh, Dr. Vachetti is the medical co-director of Oxygen Oasis Hyperbaric Wellness Center, along with the well-respected plastic surgeon and wounded care physician, Dr. Ben Lamb. Uh, after listening to this incredible story, and I mentioned to Vicki, uh, who will be bringing in a little bit, I, it's, it's just fascinating me. First of all, I'm, I'm a believer in paths reaching one another for a reason. And when I told Joe about this and when Joe started telling me the story, I was amazed. What are your thoughts on uh, the story and, uh, and your anticipation for the, the future with this type of, these types of treatments? Well, these are one of many stories that I hear all the time. It's, it's actually not unique. It actually happens all the time. And when somebody comes in and you get that great of a result, it's really, really gratifying. And uh, it, it's, it's unfortunate that we don't have the ability to help more people out there. Absolutely. Uh, now, how long have you been doing these types of uh, t treatments now, Doctor? I was been for about a couple of years. And what are the, what are the common symptoms uh, that, that, that occur? And, you know, well, most of the symptoms that are very common, actually, that uh, Nick has, uh, he can get headaches. Um, you can actually have, after the fact, losses of consciousness, short-term memory loss, like uh, we were just mentioning. You forget where you're going and things of that nature. So those things are very, very common. Insomnia um, and uh, difficulty in focusing on certain things, like reading a book or actually watching television, you can distract it very, very easily. Um, and also moods, um, the inability, irritability they get. Okay. All of a sudden, they react in an inappropriate manner. Can you explain how the uh, hyperbaric oxygen therapy works with the neurological conditions such as PTSD and PTSD and uh, TBI, uh, concussions, strokes? How does you know? How does that? How do you explain that? How the benefits occur? Well, oxygen is a natural. Um, it's, it's, it's in nature. And the oxygen basically we normally have in our system, and what we're doing exactly is, is increasing the oxygen to not only our red blood cells, but also in the uh, circulation and the fluid around in our, in our circulation. And therefore, from going from a lower level, what we normally breathe um, or at 21%, we're increasing it to a 100% concentration. So any tissue that's somewhat um, dormant or not working properly, we're upping the ante, and therefore the body starts healing itself and creating a natural product. It's a natural, and that's what's so nice. You're listening to Let's Go Places with Tommy Toyota right here at the Seven Sea Lounge in Northeast Philadelphia. And uh, Dr. Vicki, uh, Joe, Nick, all of us, uh, we're going to be back in just a couple minutes. Don't go anywhere. For those of you who are listening, we have a lot more to, to share with you. But now a quick break for our sponsors, and we'll be right back.